Good morning. It is my desire and prayer that each of us will be having a wonderful day, a restful day. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 6, the first part, we find the following, and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience. Moderation in diet is rewarded with mental and moral vigor. It also aids in the control of passions. Overeating is especially harmful for those who are sluggish in temperance. This should eat sparingly and take plenty of physical exercise. There are men and women of excellent natural abilities who do not accomplish half what they might if they would exercise self-control in the denial of appetite. Wow, look at this. Some of us have natural abilities that could be used for the work of God, but we are unable to use more than half of those abilities because we have no self-control or no control over appetite. Many writers and speakers fail here in this point. After eating heartily, they give themselves to sedentary occupations, reading, studying, or writing, allowing no time for physical exercise. As a consequence, the free flow of thoughts and words is checked. They cannot write or speak with the force and intensity necessary in order to reach the hearts. Their efforts are tame and fruitless. Then we think, I wish I could do more. I want to do so much more for God. How come I can't do it? Well, because we are intemperate in eating. One time, I observed as we were eating potluck that many of us eat a lot, many times. So I made the comment, look, just because we are vegetarians does not mean we have to eat so much. The answer came quickly, sister, we can eat a lot because our vegetarian food is light. I remember that at the time I also said, that many of us will trade our faith for a plate of food because we do not know how to eat little and small portions. We are used to eating a lot. We eat a lot because we are intemperate. And as I have studied more, I have learned that I was not wrong in my reasoning. Those upon whom rest important responsibilities Those above all who are guardians of spiritual interests should be persons of keen feeling and quick perception. More than others, they need to be temperate in eating. Rich and luxurious food should have no place on their table. Every day, people in positions of trust have decisions to make, upon which depends results of great importance. Often they have to think rapidly and they can do this successfully only if they practice strict temperance. The mind strengthens under the correct treatment of the physical and mental powers. If the strain is not too great, new vigor comes with every taxation. But often the work of those who have important plans to consider and important decisions to make is affected for evil by the results of improper diet. A a disordered stomach produces a disordered, uncertain state of mind. Often, it causes irritability, harshness, and injustice. Many a plan that would have been a blessing to the world has been discarded. Many unjust, oppressive, and even cruel measures have been enacted as the result of disease conditions due to wrong habits of eating. Wow, studying this makes one stop and think, doesn't it? How can we serve God with so many things we need to change? And we are only scratching the surface. We just saw that eating too much disturbs the decision-making process. Decisions that could be blessing to others, that could shed light to the world. 
May God help us. I have heard people after a meal stand up and say, Oh, I ate too much. I feel like I ate a whole cow. Yep. If we have to run after a meal like this, we will not be able to. If after a meal like that, we are confronted with having to decide between our faith and life or to defend our faith, we will not be able to answer for our faith. The stomach is working so hard, it pulls all the energy to digest the cow that we just ate. <laughs> it seems funny, but it's not. We need to think about this. The food that God gave the Israelites while they were in the desert was a simple food. The Lord could have provided them with a banquet, but He chose to give them a simple diet. We also have the same instruction. We are to have a good, healthy, nutritious diet, being temperate by eating to supply our nutritious need, not to fill up the stomach to the point that we are unable to move. When we eat to get to this point, our brain will be uncertain and we will not be able to walk, both physically and spiritually. May God help us and continue to teach us and help us to put this message in practice. Remember, the door to heaven or the path to heaven is narrow. And now we see why. I hope to see you tomorrow. Until then, have a blessed day.